Hello everyone, this is Brian bringing you episode 33 of my reusable space program. I had planned to start out this episode with a full kind of status report here. I'm upgrading buildings using the funds generated by the last contract on MUN and kind of sort of completing out the science tree. There were a few left uh, when I was done purchasing everything, but as fate would have it, uh, KSP had other plans for this series and this save file. Um, so instead, I'm not playing the audio from this whole stats report and we will go to the events that pretty much wrecked this entire series, at least for now. So a quick look at the science tree here and then we'll move on. So I was planning on refueling the station and then bring up a new crew uh, to it uh, you know, to get them the experience they need up on MUN so they can start leveling up as high as they can. And what happened was all of a sudden every single launch I did, no matter what craft, would do what this one did. So when this occurred, I thought, well, okay, let's let's try something. Let's make something of this. Maybe I can uh, jettison these fairings somehow and get this capsule off of here. After all, it has an, um, you know, engine, its own engine and stuff. So it just has to detach and power down. But I can't decrease the thrust on the main booster, and it is pushing up against this uh, capsule so hard uh, that I'm having a hard time detaching it here kind of struggling here trying to figure out what to do. This is completely um, outside my control at this point. Um, I'm not sure what went wrong, but I'm going to try and go with it. Okay, I got different parts here. I'm trying to get to that capsule or get to those fairings to, to throw those off. Different pieces are flying off of this thing still. At some point in here, I do get to uh, where I could potentially control the engine, and I had the bright idea to limit the throttle, but uh, it doesn't throttle down when I do so. And eventually, I just gave up and decided to restart the flight. After all, this is a bug, and it should not kill seven crew members. So here I am on the next attempt. Let's see what happens here. pretty spectacular. So now I'm starting to wonder. So I check the logs here and I see that things are colliding into each other, which is very um, kind of odd. Nothing was staged. I don't know why this is happening. Um, looks like it happened at about one minute and a similar altitude in about 180 meters per second. So this time I suspect a corrupted craft file. So I rebuild the rocket, the booster and try again. And yes, same thing happens. About the same altitude, about the same speed. Hmm. So, not to be deterred, I keep trying. And this happens again. And again. Uh, KSC, we have a problem here. Now, yeah, what's that, job? Well, as you can see, we had to abort again, but this time we have a fairing stuck right through the capsule. Alright, well, let us know if anything dangerous happens. Will do. Fortunately, when I finally started up this capsule's engine, the uh, fairing broke free, and I was able to bring it on down for a landing, which I will let you watch while I start talking about where I go from here. Um, so, obviously, this um, save file is completely destroyed. Um, I did take the same, exact same craft files into my sandbox save and loaded them up and flew them just fine, just like normal. So, clearly, it's part of the save game, not my install or game data or mods or anything like that. So, um, kind of faced with a problem here. And now, in the meantime, in the last few weeks, I've been reading some really, really great books. Um, 
I don't have all the titles handy, but they're all written by Buzz Aldrin. Um, obviously, you probably know who he is if you are watching these videos. And if you don't, he is uh, he was Neil Armstrong's uh, crewmate on Apollo 11, second man to walk on the moon. And he's also uh, really invented NASA's um, EVA program, or at least he invented, but he made it successful uh, by improving the training techniques and being the first uh, astronaut to really do uh, um, kind of an intense and successful EVA in orbit on a Gemini mission. So anyway, um, the books I'm thinking of, there's, uh, I think it's called Mission to Mars and Encounters with Tiber. And Encounters with Tiber especially um, kind of inspired me to do some things that uh, I'd like to try in real, uh, real solar system, but I'll probably try here first. And it's basically focused on doing some things that I think as a species we should do, number one. And number two, it's about making space travel uh, cheap and affordable, which is certainly right up uh, the alley of you know, reusability. So I think I'll continue those in the reusable this reusable series, but you will see it as kind of a reboot. And I'm going to do it in a sandbox game. Uh, I've maxed out the tree. I've bought all the buildings I can do. I've done the contracts. I don't really think there's any benefit to me doing any more contracts. And there's hardly even any, any benefit to me, you know, going around and getting signs that I can't use. So the, the the redo of this series, you know, part two, version two, whatever you want to call it, uh, will be in sandbox mode. However. I will kind of continue to keep track in my own way of expenses, uh, fatalities, etc., um, in an attempt to, you know, try and figure out um, or try to imply, apply some of these cost-saving measures. And since clearly I need some more time to talk about this, I'll go ahead and throw in the clip from the last successful mission of this series, which was a refueling mission to the space station. Um, so anyway. I think my videos will not be uh, quite so predictable. I, for a while I was doing them every week, uh, and then lately I've getting busy and I can't do them every week. And I really don't want to feel pressure to do a weekly release and, you know, what am I going to do and all that. So I think what I'll do is I'll focus more on, you know, tutorial style, style video and then followed up with the, an actual mission that is kind of unique and interesting. and. That way I think you can learn. I can learn how to teach this, which I think is kind of cool and important. So it helps me become a better player. And also, um, I think that that'll relieve some of the pressure and give me something interesting to do and you know, maybe a higher quality video in the end. So it may take some time, but you know, hopefully you'll stick with it and you'll watch them when they come out. Um, so when the, in the new redo, I'm going to add a couple of mods. One is uh, it's called FMRS Flight Management. I think it's reusability system, which allows you to do um, kind of like flying two stages at the same time. It actually forks the save game and then puts them back together at the end so you can get the results, which will allow me to try different methods of reusability, such as you know SpaceX style booster flyback instead of putting the booster all the way into orbit and then landing it um, on its own, which I think is a way more realistic way of doing things and um, should be cheaper too, should be a lot cheaper and enable me to have heavier payloads as well. Secondly, I'm going to enable Remote Tech. Remote Tech is a mod that simulates uh, radio communications between the control center and the spacecraft, and I think it's extremely important, especially when you start thinking about uh, interplanetary distances, how you're going to build bases on other planets and whatnot. It's going to completely change the mission um, if I install remote tech. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's, a, I think, a super important realism addition to the, to the program. And lastly, I think what I'll focus on is uh, trying ideas for use, reusability, for space tourism, for colonizing. Um, Eve and Duna, and also Lathe. And after that's done, I'll probably move on to real solar system and try things kind of again in, in that, you know, see if I can do that, quote unquote, for real. Now, the last thing you should know about this, so this save file is about six months old, I think. I started it in January or so. It's It's been brought up from 
I think dot 90 is when I started it, maybe in dot 25, I'm not sure. Um, as I was trying to fix this bug, I saw in the save file that um, I had flown something like 382 missions or so. Uh, Jebediah had 78 or 87 missions worth of experience unscathed, which is pretty amazing. The next one back was either Bob or Bill at 30, and then on down from there, that all the rest were you know in the low teens. So that's it for now. Now I'm going to leave you with a nice slow shot of what I think made this reusability uh, program special was the landing accurately of these large boosters. So I'll let you see this in its entirety. And uh, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in a couple of weeks um, when I get the next video out. As always, fly with confidence.